they seem to have used a good range of resources. Um, we're talking about helicopters, drones, dogs, people on the ground. Um, obviously, it's a very um, rugged terrain to search and um, will have its challenges and the potential high temperatures as well. Um, so all that makes it quite difficult. Um, hard to say just how effective the search is being because I'm not there. Um, that's not to criticise it, but um, it's, um, they, they seem to have put a lot of effort into it anyway. Well, th there are two things. One is to, on the investigation side to investigate uh, or understand Jay, uh, what his personality is, what he's like, fitness, um, his uh, what he was doing. We know he was at the party and moved off. And then also and look at the last place he was seen, which give us a, 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 the first start for the, uh, the search. And uh, and then looking at different hypotheses to try and determine what might have happened. One obvious one was the um, men missing on a <clears throat> excuse me men missing on a night out, which is a, some UK research that looked at young men who go out on a night and if, out, night out, and if they're reported missing and missing for more than three days, there's a high probability that they will have um, will have died. Um, majority go into water, uh, probably not a situation. In, that we'd encounter here, um, but 15% um, die on land. Um, so it is UK um, research, but it still holds good elsewhere. And so that would be an initial starting point. However, uh, we also know that um, a friend, he spoke to someone on the phone uh, around 8.15 or is it 9 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, in the morning. Um, yeah. So that sort of tends to move it a bit, a bit away from that. Uh, there's also the reports that he went in a car with two men from the party. Uh, again, reports indicate they've now left the island. So that would be a, a priority action to find out what went on there, where they took him, why they've left the island. Are there any um, suspicious circumstances that need to be considered? Um, and that will, again, inform that where to search, but it also informs other lines of investigation. The two things go together. Well, I think that would be the, the main working hypothesis that he walked off, got lost, um, become dehydrated and succumbed to the elements or a fall. However, um, we mustn't make that the, the only line of inquiry. And we should be looking at alternatives, why it's important to investigate what happened with the two guys who, who took him away. Does that give a different um, search location? Is it, do, Are there other things that might have uh, come from that. I mean, stranger abduction is extremely unusual. It's talked about a lot. Statistically, it's very rare. But um, what happened with them needs to be investigated and understood uh, to help move forward. So we need to move forward on multiple uh, hypotheses um, and make sure that nothing is, is missed. In information from the public witnesses and so on is, is can be critical in these investigations we would always be looking to find what other people may have seen uh, speculation and rumor doesn't help um i know we've seen a lot of that with uh, with recent cases uh with, the, with people getting on social media um and making all sorts of speculations about that probably not even thinking about the impact that will have on the family and those left behind who are already in a very difficult situation and also then going to um, be involved in the search. Um, ideally, that the primary search should be left to professionals who have the right training, experience and equipment to go into those areas. And sometimes uh, people can, uh, with the right intentions, go into there and get themselves into difficulty and add to the problems. So it needs to be very much under the control of the local police. It's something that we're very experienced at in the UK with people turning up and wanting to go on searches and um, making the best use of their enthusiasm without adding to the problems and also potentially damaging or destroying any um, evidence or indicators of where that Jay may have gone, may have gone to. And I think that something that doesn't get mentioned as often as it should is thinking about the family. It's the most yeah. horrendous situation for it. Mum's yeah. described it as their worst nightmare, I think. Just being left, not knowing, having no answers, worrying about what's happened to your son, daughter, or a love, love the love person is the most incredibly difficult situation to be in. And I think we must remember that and be sympathetic to the family 
Um, and ultimately, they should be left in a position where they can, whatever the outcome, they know that everything that could be done has been done. We, we talked about genuine enthusiasm for helping, but unfortunately, there are some people who are malicious and unpleasant. And I've seen it in lots of cases where it, it just has such a bad effect on the family and it's just not needed. New social media footage emerged of Jay at a hard dance party just hours before he went missing. The clip, posted at 8.30pm on Sunday, shows him with sunglasses on his head among revellers. Jay was on the Spanish island with two pals for the three-day festival that has not been seen since early on Monday morning. His friend, Lucy Law, left the festival early as she was tired, but Jay went to drink beer with two British lads that he'd met. The following morning, he posted a Snapchat picture of himself holding a cigarette. He also sent others to his mum. They are thought to have been taken at a £40 a night property rented by two Brits, who Spanish cops say they spoke to before letting them fly back to the UK. At 9am, Jay called Lucy to say he was lost, hot and thirsty and his phone battery is at 1%. It is believed he had driven to where the two lads were staying without realising how far it was from his rented accommodation. The apprentice bricklayer from Lancashire then tried to make the 10 hour trek back to his apartment in 27 degree heat. Expert teams have been searching mountains in the Deteno National Park and family and friends have flown to Tenerife to join the search. It's a nightmare, it's just an absolute living nightmare. It's like a dream, it's like it's not happening. It really is. It really is. I don't wish this on anybody. I just want my baby back. <laughs> Just please, just anybody who can help, just look for him. There's a massive area up there, massive. It's over 48 hours now since he was last had any contact with anybody. He's out there somewhere, or somebody knows where he is. We just need to find my baby. First holiday abroad, saving up, looking so forward to this event. Three DJs from everywhere, absolutely buzzing about it three days, third day into the NRG festival. And this, and this has happened. I were loving that he would go in and saying, you'll love it, you'll, you'll come back, you'll want to go again. You want to go to all these other different events everywhere. And I would just wish I hadn't uh, <laughs> encouraged him to go. I should have said, don't go to Tenerife. I just think he was probably still in dire spirits, buzzing. He's not known where he is. He's not known the extent of the long journey that he went on to get up there. And he's just thought, still a bit, you know, I'm going to walk. And, and that's what apparently he said to his last person he contacted. He's just an ace person. <laughs> Everyone just loves being in his company. He's life and soul. He, he is. He's the life and soul. He's a beautiful boy. He's He's a good looking boy, he's, you know, he just needs to be here, he needs to be here. I said to him as well, I said, Jay, please have your wits about you, you know, no, you're in a foreign country, just stay together, you know, but did, Jay we? being Jay, just like, hey, how are you, how are you, what's your name, where are you from, and like he does, just popular, just a popular guy that has got him into trouble.